Bon, c'est une Camerounaise euh, qui, euh, qui vit quelque part, qui est, vit dans plusieurs avions, ouais, parce qu'elle n'a pas de pays. Elle vit dans les airs et de temps en temps, là où elle atterrit, tac, et, 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 elle, elle, elle édifie euh, les nations aujourd'hui. Elle, c'est euh, Emeldine King Joya, qui est coach. Euh, elle est leadership consultant, corporate trainer, author and speaker. Alors, ce matin, on parlera d'un thème, autonomisation des femmes noires. Euh, comment assumer ses responsabilités et construire des communautés fortes. Voilà, quelqu'un disait ce matin, c'est du lourd que vous avez ce, ici à, à des rendez-vous. Et oui, c'est du lourd que nous avons. Emeldine, good morning, welcome to our show. Good morning, glad to be here. Uh, <laughs> Enchanté. Uh -huh. Bonjour, Emeldine. Bonjour, Calvin. Bon, c'est le français américanisé que je parle ce matin, un peu comme Def Cry Mark Toy. Yeah. Voilà, comment vous allez-vous Très bien, très bien, et vous vous êtes très belle et jolie. Merci beaucoup. Vous êtes très beau. Merci. Mais il faut me dire la vérité. Pas... <rire> non, je n'ai pas de confiance en moi. J'ai confiance en moi. Un homme camerounais. Donc, je préfère que vous me dites autre chose. Vous êtes très beau, très oui. galante, voilà. très confidente. Et... Très confidente. Confi confident. <rire> confiant. Confiant. Comment on dit ça Confiant, confiant. Alors, on va parler le cam franglais. Voilà. Si ça me dépasse, je parle même au What you can voilà. say your dialect. C'est clair. Ça Donc, sort sinon... comme ça sort. Oui, ça Hi, comme King. Ça sort. You're welcome on the show. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me, Gabby. You're welcome. Alors. Oh, thank you. What about my hair? What about my hair? Actually, your hair is like the bomb. Ah, like, what do I look like? Like, like Tina Turner? Tina Turner. Mm. Yeah, that's the look. Thank you. What? Yeah. I love, I love, I got to do with it. Hey, hey. Il y a des choses comme ça qui font c'est que je n'aime pas souvent venir au Cameroun à n'importe quelle heure. Les gens, comment ils dansent? Je comment nous rentrer dans notre pays hein? Parce que les choses comme ça. Je devais danser comme ça. Pourquoi comme ça? Elle suit quelqu'un. C'est comme ça. C'est toi qui me fais ça. Tu vas danser dans ce traditionnel. Comment? We need to say our culture, right? Oui, no, oui, 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 oui. yeah. oh, c'est incroyable, c'est incroyable. Franchement, oh. je suis. Uh, hey, I want to come work with you guys. Every day. <laughs> <laughs> I've been laughing since I got here. Can you hire me? Can you hire me? Can you hire me? Can you hire me? Can je suis là. Oui, j'ai mm. beaucoup de questions. There is time for you. I'm, I believe she's here to answer all our questions. Yeah, Justement, elle est là pour ça. Donc, Cathy, tu nous donnes le thème en anglais. Merci. Ok. Thank you very much, Mireille Grace. Now, we, we will be talking about uh, empowering African women, taking yes. responsibility and building strong community. Oh, voilà. mm. yeah. Mmh. Le thème est dévoilé, je crois que c'est déjà au bas de l'écran, vous voyez, hein, ça apparaît. On va se lancer maintenant dans le jeu de questions-réponses avec notre invité King, Emeldine Joya. Yeah. Alors, on parle de l'autonomisation de la femme noire en Afrique, de la femme noire. Donc, et tout à l'heure, on est en train de se dire que les femmes qui sont autonomes, beaucoup plus sont celles qui sont en Europe. Mm -hmm. Pas forcément en Asie, parce qu'il y a plein de continents. Mm -hmm. Le continent européen, pourquoi Parce qu'elle profite du système. Mm -hmm. C'est pour cette raison qu'on parle, elles sont autonomes. Ce qui n'est pas le cas en Afrique, où les femmes ne sont pratiquement pas autonomes, à cause, parce que le système ne permet peut-être pas à la femme d'être autonome en Afrique. Alors, que dire donc euh, cette différenciation-là, comment donc faire euh, Quelles sont les stratégies pour pouvoir amener justement ces femmes à, à, à être autonomes Donc, Europe et... Vous pouvez parler en anglais. Donc, nous parlons de l'Europe et de l'Amérique. Oui, c'est ça. Donc, vous dites que l'Amérique et le Canada, right? Et c'est vrai. Je pense que le système qui est là, Different. encourages a woman mm. voilà. to be 
independent, mm -hmm. right? To be a go getter, to dream and to dream very big. Uh -huh. In Africa, it's different. Mm -hmm. Earlier on, you were talking about the cultural differences voilà. between Africa and and the diaspora. It's it's, it's enormous, uh -huh. right? Yeah. Um, I think that having conversations like this one, mm -hmm. we're starting off where we're saying we want a change. And I think I need to back up and say that, especially this Women's Day, it's my first one in, in Cameroon, oh, this oh. Women's Month. Oh, really? And uh, Women's History, I've always been out. It's, I'm happy I'm here because the conversations that I've heard from women and from men voilà. are very interesting. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure we're going to cover all of those today. But yes, the system out there gives us a chance to be go-getters, to be independent, to be autonomous. But here, I think that in the past, it used to be really bad. Mm -hmm. A woman's place was in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. You were supposed to get up, get, grow up, get married, have children, yeah. and that was it, right? Um, parents used to send the boys, mm -hmm. are they called? Et les femmes restaient à la maison. Les filles étaient à la maison parce que vous devez être les proviseurs, les, les patrons, the providers. providers and all that. But that has changed. You fast forward to now, our time, mm -hmm. and that has changed. Um, many people right now understand the importance of investing in the girl child. And by default, you're investing in a woman in the future. So right now, because of the internet, because of uh, social media, I feel like African women and Cameroonian women in particular are beginning to understand that we, we, we matter, right? Or women matter. Um, our voices should be heard. Our voices should be considered. Um, we should be invited to the table. We should be invited in politics. Um, we should be invited in the social conversations like this one so that you could hear from us that we want to be included. So I feel like the structure is not, it's there, but we need to take it deeper. So we have the Ministry of Women's um, Empowerment and the family. I feel like if, if the conversation around the woman becoming independent, um, included in Cameroon, that ministry um, under the leadership of, of Madame Abena is going to have to really participate in giving us, creating the platforms, um, having conversations around policies that encourage women to become independent, right? Not just at home, but also in the economy as a whole. Okay. Super. Okay. Je voudrais d'abord savoir, selon vous, les femmes, parce que j'ai la chance d'être sur ce plateau avec les femmes, selon vous, les femmes, Qu'est-ce qui fait l'obstacle à l'autonomisation de la femme selon vous Ah, I love that. Voilà. C'est la première question. Que I, j'aime tellement cette question. Merci beaucoup. Je pense que c'est la femme elle-même. Ah bon Oui. Donc, wow. mais c'est pas c'est pas dans une manière mauvaise. Mm -hmm. It's not in a bad way I'm yeah. saying it. For Cameroonian women, pour la femme camerounaise mm -hmm. et et même la femme africaine, parce que j'ai beaucoup voyagé dans l'Afrique, dans mm -hmm. les pays d'autres pays africains, hein, je pense que les Continuant. femmes ne croient pas en, en elles-mêmes, à nos potentiels. Mm -hmm. Et je sais pourquoi. Je pense que, pas que je sais tout, mais je pense que c'est parce que quand on était enfant, quand mm -hmm. tu quand we were growing up, mm -hmm. the, the, the women were always looked at as, oh, we already said that, we're going to have babies, there was really no place for us in, in society. It was more about the men. So for years, you guys heard that, oh, vous êtes les, les rois, vous êtes les patrons. Mm. We did everything for you guys at home. Yes, Même ma maman, when she was talking about getting married, it was, you know, your husband, right? You got to take care of your husband. You got to cook for him, clean, yeah, do his own, laundry, yeah, make sure that the house is always like that, have babies. Mm -hmm. But nobody told you that you got to love your wife, treat her nice, and do all that. So subconsciously, we felt like we were not good enough. Non, tu clair. comprends un peu. Oui, so now fast forward. Maintenant, on, on a le dialogue que les femmes camerounaises doivent être uh, uh, autonomes. We should be ourselves. Mm -hmm. But deep down, we were not prepared to be this woman that we're talking about mm -hmm. right now. So subconsciously, mem, you, 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 this will surprise you. Even with women who are successful, deep down within them, they still have that imposter syndrome. Mm -hmm. Like I, I really should be. I'm a CEO. I'm a boss, I'm a journalist, I'm, I'm whatever I am, but I really am still going to be small. Like, mm -hmm. I need to dim my light because I'm a woman. Mm -hmm. Donc, je crois que c'est la femme 
camerounaise elle-même. Donc, le dialogue maintenant doit être comment, how do we empower the Cameroonian woman voilà. to own her power, mm -hmm. to believe in herself, to love herself, to yeah. see herself as somebody of value who has a lot to bring to the table mm -hmm. and be proud about it just like the man is. Mm -hmm. If there's a job opening, apply for it. Okay. Don't think I'm a woman and I'm not going to get it. Okay, based on what you just said, now my question is, in what way can an African woman be empowered? Oh, yeah. So, so starting from herself, right? But I think it starts from home. Okay. Every African parent who's listening to me right now, you need to reaffirm your daughters, As especially the fathers. Mm -hmm. I have to be honest with you. I was born in the 70s. But I had an amazing dad. My father is incredible because he loved us unconditionally. Mm -hmm. We knew that he loved us. Mm -hmm. So that, that father-daughter love, mm -hmm. because we are going to get married to a man. And uh, the man you get married to could be like your dad. Like your dad, yeah. You, you see what I mean? So it is very important for fathers in particular to participate with in, in raising their daughters and i'm not just saying provide for them send them to schools pay the shows mm -hmm. no il faut être là avec elle in the morning have conversations with your daughters when they go come back from school have conversations and the conversation should be about reaffirming them you're beautiful you're smart you're intelligent i love your hair yes. i love you know you, you know you know this shaming body shaming or oh, you look fat skinny tall or short you're a beautiful woman you're confident someday you're going to be a boss someday you're going to be a ceo someday you're going to lead the country even you understand so sava come and say down la maison that's mm -hmm. where it starts and then after that institutions when we leave school when we leave home many of us go to schools yeah so our school system you know need to also our entire education system needs to be about empowering the, the girl child from primary school all the way to university mm -hmm. we need to have teachers Uh, professors that empower they affirm the woman they appreciate the girl as much as they appreciate the the the, 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 the boys in class right because men already have it laid out for them but they also need to participate and then at a higher level our communities you know your cultural communities your churches mm -hmm. they also need to participate in affirming that so there's continuity and then on a larger extent you know the, the country as a whole mm -hmm. <laughs> Now, I want to ask a question. How do you start by convincing, let's say, a woman that lives in the village, mm -hmm. right? She knows that a culture, African culture, make you understand that a woman's place is in the, the kitchen. kitchen. Mm -hmm. Now, how do you start convincing her that you are responsible for your own empowerment? You have to do this, you have to do that. So, so I'm going to answer that two ways, okay. right? Because we're assuming that, and, and this is something that I want every Cameroonian woman to hear and every African woman to hear, especially those of us who are about empower, I mean, empowering our kind, right? Is it every woman who wants to be empowered? Mm -hmm. That's a big question. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that's what we have to start because mm -hmm. when we start having the conversation, I think that's sometimes the reason why some men push mm -hmm. back mm -hmm. is because they're thinking that we want every woman to be a boss lady to be powerful mm -hmm. to be earning her own money that's not what we want yeah. we're saying that if there are i mean 60 of cameroonian population from what i've understood is women right so mm -hmm. if we're what almost 30 million so let's say if there are 16 million women in cameroon maybe only five million of them want to be empowered mm -hmm. and that's okay there's nothing wrong with that mm -hmm. so we're not trying to go change tell the the, the mommy in the village say mommy you get for become empowered you get to become this you get for provide no <laughs> we're not saying that so i feel like that's where we, sh we should go back and start the conversation from there mm -hmm. once you do that you understand who should be participating in that conversation the conversation yeah because here's the thing <laughs> I always say that when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. Yeah. So for that mommy who's in the village who should empower herself, it's going to come from her. If she's willing. Right now we have TV, we have the news mm -hmm. in Pidgin, in, in our dialects. Model. Yes, those ones in the village who want to be emancipated, who want to grow, they will listen to the radios. Mm -hmm. Nespa, yeah. mm -hmm. they would go, they would gravitate toward that. 
and then they would have participate in our conversation but if there's someone in the village who does not want to and wants to just be a farmer a housewife taking care of their children c'est bon hein? mm. mais ceci veut dire que ça, bon. il faut il faudrait pour que cela se fasse il faut que les parents puissent motiver les enfants à le faire ils doivent motiver les enfants mais quand tu motives les enfants parmi tes enfants il y en a certains qui vont être boss patron au futur mm -hmm. il y en a dans tes soeurs qui voulaient être housewife, mm -hmm. avoir des bébés, mm -hmm. ma se marier, oui. et c'est tout. Mm -hmm. Tu vois un peu. Est-ce que ce n'est pas peut-être dû au fait que, euh, si elles veulent être des housewives, mm -hmm. est-ce que ce n'est pas dû au fait que elles veulent, euh, je veux dire, euh, le contexte dans lequel elles vivent, elles se disent que euh, qu'elles ne peuvent pas être peut-être des boss ladies, mais, mais etc., comment, comment l'environnement. Mais comment est-ce que tu peux dire que nous trois, nous sommes de même, même, même père, et moi je pense comme ça, que oh, I'm a housewife, just here, mais vous deux, vous êtes les boss ladies, les CEO, les, les commerçants, mais nous sommes élevés par les mêmes parents. Oh. Tu vois un peu ce que je dis? Donc, c'est que les parents doivent connaître les enfants. Je vais te, te donner un exemple avec mes parents, parce que j'adore tellement mon papa, parce qu'il était visionnaire pour moi. Tu vois, nous sommes six. Il y a six of us okay. dans la famille. Wow. Je suis l'aîné. Mm -hmm. Et je suis complètement différente de tous mes soeurs. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. La manière dont mon papa s'entretenait avec moi était complètement différente Différent. de mes soeurs. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Donnez ex un exemple. Moi, il pouvait me laisser partir n'importe où. Il m'appelait Petit Diable. <rire> je partais en vacances à Yaoundé, à Bamenda. J'ai tellement de, 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 les mamans que j'appelle mamie, qui sont mm -hmm. comme ma tête, parce que mm -hmm. je vivais avec eux dans la mm -hmm. maison. Mais mes soeurs, non pas, parce qu'ils étaient timides. Surtout ma petite, celle, celle qui est derrière moi. Mm -hmm. Elle est timide, elle est calme, elle est là, elle ne parle pas. Si elle vient ici, elle va dire, oh, elle va faire ce soir là-bas. Mm -hmm. Tu vois un peu. Donc, mon papa ne pouvait pas lui laisser aller n'importe où. Elle était toujours avec mon père. C'est elle qui connaissait tout, où il y avait l'argent et tout. Parce que moi, si je savais où il y avait l'argent, je prenais. Oh, alors, tu prends <rire> avec... À notre époque, là, j'ai grandi à Douala. Delise était ah, à la place. Ah oui, Delise, oh, yeah, oui, vois, J'ai vu Delise, j'ai dit, oh my gosh, is that Delise? Delise is finished. Ah, c'est Paul, c'est Paul était. Et Deli... puis, après, moi, moi, après, il y avait Glacier, moi. Uh -huh. Moi, je cherchais souvent l'argent hein, parce qu'il y avait souvent l'action pour aller. Et... Oh, donc, donc, tu vois un peu no. ce que je dis. Oui. Non, mais nous sommes des mêmes parents. Donc, parents have to look at their children and really know who they are mm. and raise them differently. This one likes to be a farmer. Mm. Let me encourage her to become a farmer. A farmer This yeah. one wants to be a boss lady CEO. Mm -hmm. Let me expose her to opportunities to become a boss lady CEO. Mm -hmm. This one wants to become a housewife. Mm -hmm. Let me expose her to opportunities and teach her about cooking, cleaning, taking care of her husband, mm -hmm. kids and all that. Mm -hmm. So, donc c'est dans la maison que ça commence et la société en général. Mm -hmm. Tu vois un peu. Mais, so you can, I feel like you cannot force someone to be a true. boss lady. That's true. That's true. Mais, mais, oui, it should, mais, it mais, should be a personal, decision. Should be a yeah. personal yeah. decision. Et aujourd'hui, quand on voit, euh, parce que on va dire, est-ce qu'on est qu va dire que les carottes sont cuites Parce que <rire> nous sommes en 2024 uh -huh. quand même. C'est déjà uh, cuit. C'est déjà, les carottes. Egg is done. Uh -huh, yes. Voilà. Yes. On, on peut faire comment pour remédier Je ne sais pas comment on peut faire pour remédier à la situation, pour permettre ah. justement à mener ces femmes, à, 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 même cette jeune fille-là, à penser que je peux oui. être comme okay. ça. Donc, je suis venue au Cameroun pour trois raisons seulement. Parce que je vis en, en, aux États-Unis mm -hmm. et j'ai tellement fait là-bas par la grâce de Dieu. Donc, pour moi, maintenant, c'est comme si je, je dis, j'ai vécu, j'ai vécu 10 lifetimes in, yeah. et je n'ai même pas encore 50 ans. Je me sens que j'ai fait tout, right? Et pour moi, maintenant, c'est, let me come back and give back to Cameroon and Africa in, in general. Mm -hmm. And three, just three things I want to do here, by God's grace. Leadership Development Consulting. Et on va en parler. Mm -hmm. Parce qu'il y en a maintenant les femmes qui sont les CEO, les, mm -hmm. les, les, les senior vice presidents, mm -hmm. les, les general managers, ministers, mm -hmm. ministers mm -hmm. you know, thank God for that, secretary of state. Mm -hmm. Il y en a. They didn't have leadership development. Mm -hmm. They were intelligent, they understand their, their, their job. Donc, ils, ils maîtrisent bien leur métier. Donc, en fonction de cela, elles sont là où elles sont. Mais elles, elles, elles n'ont pas la capacité de to lead people okay mm -hmm. the leadership qualities yeah. Yeah. Okay. because what they've seen when they were coming up is command and control mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. that's the african dictatorial authoritarian nothing is wrong with that it's command and control i tell you jump you jump i'm mm -hmm. your boss mm -hmm. right I, you cannot tell me i'm wrong mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so with them there's going to be a need for us to teach leadership leadership what is leadership mm -hmm. how do you lead what is it about it's really about serving 
and how do you serve to lead people you have to love them you have to connect with them I have to know that you care about me just as much as you have to know that I respect you respect is earned so Africa we have to change that narrative when I shout, you, you, you know, that means I'm a leader. I'm a leader. It's no, Thank I respect you. you as a human being, uh -huh. but I'm, you're also going to respect, respect me. me. I've reciprocal. earned your respect. It should mm -hmm. be reciprocal. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start having those conversations for those ministries and companies who are ready. We'll do leadership. Secondly, women's empowerment. That's mm -hmm. why I'm here this month. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because I'm, I'm, a, I'm an advocate for women. Mm -hmm. But only the women who deep down within them, and to answer one of your questions, mm -hmm. want to be. Donc il y en a certaines femmes aussi qui voulaient être tout ça, mais la société ne les give them, ne permet pas. Voilà. So now is the time. Let's start having a conversation. How can we put platforms together, mm -hmm. programs together, to teach you about how to become a woman, to own yourself, mm -hmm. to step into your power, to know who you are, to know what you want, and to just be to compound people. So women's empowerment. That's why I'm here. And then the next question, which is really key, mm -hmm. is so I want to start a mentorship program. For girls, ah, effectivement, pour, pour les raisons dont tu as dit, mm -hmm. parce que nous voici nous trois. I was lucky that I went to America and I could go through that path. Mm -hmm. And you know, 25 years I've been learning this. Ils ont déjà bien évolué, tu vois un peu. But you and I, we didn't have that luxury going on. Yes, yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. And now you're a leader, you're a leader, you're a powerful woman, but you don't know how to communicate with people. Yeah. Effective communication. Yeah. You don't understand leadership. You don't understand team building, teamwork. How do I move STV to the next level? Tu comprends un peu? Mm -hmm. It's just leadership. It's just vision. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's okay. Nous sommes déjà queer, comme dit les carreaux sont déjà queer. So we're just going to have to unlearn so many things. Yeah. And to unlearn things is hard. Mm. Like I'm used to doing one way. I'm programmed to do it this way, to think this way, to shout, to react. Mm. So how about we catch them? And for me, I want to start talking to girls from from five to upper six. Upper six, okay. That's my mission. That I'm going good. to Yaoundé. If, if I can have Very access nice. to the Minister of Education, I'm calling everybody that I can. It's I'm like secondary good. education. Can we put a program? I'm ready to give yeah. my time. I don't care if I make money. I, that's not what I'm here for. But can we give access to? I want to go into every secondary school in Cameroon over the next 25 years. Uh, you have to be Parce que c'est pas quelque chose qu'on va changer aujourd'hui. Ça c'est vrai. Ouais, ça c'est vrai. And I need all of you, on all you women, let's yeah. go along. Yeah. Come what? If oui. you're talking about it, you're passionate yeah. about it. Mm -hmm. Can we come together, pull other women and say, hey, one hour in a school, just inspire them, tell them you're a woman and all this, mm -hmm. and then take the conversation online. Yeah. Maintenant, les cours se passent toutes ces en ligne, les Zoom, Let's structure a program where we're empowering them, we're teaching them. If you're from the village but you want to be all this and your parents don't know how to, let's form a mentorship program for girls from five. Right, you have one. J'achète, j'achète, j'achète. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fast forward 25 years, they don't have the problem. Oui. Elle arrive là, elle connaît leadership, communication. You know, they understand personal development. And that's how you change Cameroon. Oui, c'est vrai. That's how you change Cameroun. Vous parlez très bien, c'est vraiment encourageant. <rire> Mais j'ai une question. C'est vrai que vous avez dit que malgré que certaines femmes sont, ont des postes élevés, mm -hmm. le système ne leur permet pas malgré ça de, de pousser leur imagination un peu plus à oui, oui. Mais la question que je veux poser, c'est que supposons que l'autonomisation soit effective mm -hmm. et que toutes les femmes ont des postes élevés au mm -hmm. même titre que les hommes. Ma question, c'est est-ce que les femmes ont pensé, ont la vision de ce que ça va donner je ne sais pas plus tard. Je ne sais pas si vous comprenez un peu. Qu'est-ce que tu penses que ça va donner Justement, c'est ça le truc. Parce que tout à l'heure, vous parlez du respect. C'est vrai. Mm -hmm. le, la femme respecte l'homme. L'homme aussi doit respecter la femme. Oui. Normalement, lorsqu'on rentre par exemple dans la, dans la Bible, c'est la Bible qui dit que la femme, ça, la femme a respecté l'homme. Submissive. Voilà. Ok. Very good question. Mm -hmm. je, je, ce you. que j'ai appris ici au Cameroun, c'est que il, il, dans certains cadre dans certains environments of men. Mm -hmm. C'est comme si ils pensent que les femmes veulent prendre leur le place. pouvoir. Leur non, non, mais non, thank you very much. Jamais. Uh -huh. Il que je parle encore que tous les hommes Comprenne. comprennent. comprennent. Mm -hmm. Nous ne voulons pas prendre, prendre votre place. place. Thank you very much. Tu comprends un peu. Thank thank you. You. Comme Dieu vous a créé, et nous a créé, mm -hmm. we are completely different. Tell them. Tu comprends un peu. Mm -hmm. Il a dit je suis ton helpmate. That's Donc it. je dois ton aide avec toi. Mm -hmm. Tu comprends un peu. Oui. Donc donne-moi l'opportunité de marcher avec, avec toi, toi comme 
ta ko ipu, um, ta, 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 ta ipus, mm -hmm. uh, copine, whatever it is, or your boss at work, give me the opportunity mm -hmm. without shutting me down. Tu comprends un peu? And that's a conversation that I, I think that the reason why, is, I'm so honest about it, the reason why in Europe, aux états unis à l'étranger, ils travaillent ensemble, c'est parce que the men understand that the woman is not trying to take their place. Mm -hmm. The women don't want to take their place. Mm -hmm. I think that the problem in, in Cameroon and Africa has been, maybe, I was very young then. Mm -hmm. J'étais très jeune quand les femmes ont parti à Beijing, et je me rappelle. Mm -hmm. Peut-être la manière dont elles sont, elles sont rentrées. Elles sont rentrées, oui. It made the movement mm -hmm. because it was like, oh, yeah, yes. I remember well, very I well remember. that I remember. I'm old now, but I remember yeah, when we came back from Beijing. Yeah, with the that was Beijing, and Beijing. Everything. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So I remember that men were like, ah, oh, you don't, you want to be a man now, you want to take over? You so you want to talk over. to me anyhow, you mm -hmm. want to be rude? No. Mm -hmm. That's why the women who are positive, this is a positive w movement. Pour ne pas te mentir, tous les hommes doivent être derrière ce mouvement. C'est vrai. Je suis d'accord. Tu comprends un peu. Je suis when you on, parce que là, when you get the real people you know, channeling, <laughs> when you get the right people channeling the movement, mm -hmm. it's about you're never going to be like a man. Do you understand? Does it? I, even though I'm a CEO, when I come home, I'm a wife. Good. But you don't have to force me. You don't have to yell at me. Mm -hmm. you, you know what I mean? Then, you, you're my partner. Yeah. Okay. I think that is where the problem That's where the now, problem I'm, is. Now, I'm going to ask you the question. How does, like, the question now actually is how does that empowerment translate in a workplace? Like you said, you're a CEO, but you also, you also play a role as a wife as well when mm -hmm. you get home. Now, and also the society as well. It, it does. It, it translates. So once you get a point, to a point where there's an environment where women's empowerment, women's leadership and development is, 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 is encouraged, mm -hmm. the first thing that you see is increase in productivity. Mm -hmm. There's some companies around here. I've been around. I've done my homework. I don't know if I'm allowed to call them, but you see that it, it's not taken off. Mm -hmm. But you see the I've gone there. You see the environment. It's mm -hmm. oh wow. There are many women in leadership in this company. They are they are senior managers. They are CEOs, yeah, and true. they are trying to raise other women. There are mentorship mm -hmm. programs in mm -hmm. place. Mm -hmm. So in an environment where I understand that I'm valued, my contributions matter as a woman, they will show up more, and that immediately translates into increased productivity. That's number one. Number two, what starts to happen if you take that into the workplace? Some of the men in the workplace, they're going to start looking and relating to the woman differently. It might even have a positive feedback at home because maybe their wives do not work there. But when they see other women in leadership, it may, they may go, ah, and the women are... They're boss ladies in all due respect. When they come into the boardroom, we argue respectfully, we mm -hmm. agree to disagree, mm -hmm. but after that, we're still okay, right? They might be saying, oh, you know what, maybe that's how I, what I need to be doing back home with my, with my, with my wife. Mm -hmm. Now, if they can't do it with their wives, they have daughters. Mm -hmm. They might say, oh, you know what, maybe I need to start raising my girl child to be like this gen general manager in my company or to tell her about my CEO who is a woman mm -hmm. and tell her that you can be like that. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So I think it translates. But, but again, for the movement to make sense, the man, the man has to understand because the male ego is an incredible thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. It's an incredible thing. So it's fragile to say the least. So if you understand that and we can communicate this movement as a we're in this together kind of movement, mm -hmm. you begin to see that. Okay. Now let's talk about taking responsibility and building a strong community. Mm -hmm. The question I want to ask you is uh, what are the importance of personal responsibility and also a leadership and community engagement of an African woman? It's everything. Mm -hmm. It's everything. I, I feel like the African woman, despite all the challenges, has already been doing it. Let's keep it real, like we were all raised by our mothers. Yeah. They've all been contributing. Mm -hmm. Even though in most cases, your dad, le papa était uh, the CEO, le boss, le patron qui travaillait, la maman vendait les sucettes, mm -hmm. elle vendait la, la, la rachid, le pepe. You know, they were doing little things. They had their little salons. Qui sont presque tous les commerçants, les bayam selam. Those are the people that are fueling the economy. Mami Eru, Mami. Mm -hmm. So we've already been contributing in, in, in the economy. Mm -hmm. It's just time for us to start giving more voice, mm -hmm. more recognition to the Mami we're selling Eru, those mamas in the market, the, our mothers. We've already been contributing.
So I think that when we give the, a, a bigger platform, they can contribute even more. Mm -hmm. That's how. That's what I think. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. Hey, is that Fox Sports? Ah, oui. Oui, on va continuer euh, le débat euh, parce que je voulais déjà lire les messages euh, de, de, des gens, mais bon. Euh, non, 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 après, on, il vaut mieux continuer. On va retrouver l'homme dans la rue, parce que nous allons aller dans l'outside. On est allé dans les rues de Yaoundé, où on a posé des questions aux. aux, aux au, à l'homme dans mmh. la rue, mmh. homme et femme, homme grand H, euh, sur la question, que l'autre thème de ce mmh. jour, sur l'autonomisation des femmes, euh, des femmes noires. On regarde Thierry Onde au micro, à la caméra autant pour moi. Maintenir le bon équilibre, ce n'est pas une difficulté, ce n'est pas difficile. La base, c'est le dialogue. C'est quoi Alors, si on vous avez un dialogue paisible dans votre couple, je parle d'un couple, bien sûr. Et la discussion permet d'échanger, de se libérer. Entre celles qui vont hausser les, hausser les épaules devant leur mari parce qu'elles gagnent un petit argent. Bon, moi, je pense que les femmes d'aujourd'hui, quand une femme travaille, elle maîtrise son homme, elle ne respecte plus l'homme. Oh, quand la femme ne travaille pas, ou bien elle a un petit salaire. Elle respecte son mari parce qu'elle bon, ne gagne pas plus par rapport à son mari. Mais du moment où elle gagne déjà plus, le manque, le manque de respect total, elle ne te respecte plus, elle fait du n'importe quoi. Oui, c'est ce que je vois. Pour moi, pour qu'il n'y ait pas de, de souci, c'est que je reste humble. Hein. Je ne pas, pas autre chose. C'est vrai que la femme, parfois, elle se prend la tête. Mais on a des grandes vertus. Par exemple, moi, je suis vendiquée. Je reste dans, mes, dans, dans, dans ma tradition. Je suis la tradition. Et bon, pour moi, ça reste toujours l'humilité. Pour moi, lorsque la femme est autonome, je vois pas pourquoi elle doit changer de comportement. Bon, c'est vrai que l'argent en général fait changer de comportement. L'homme en général, lorsqu'il a un peu de moyens, il se retrouve à, à, à être arrogant, insolent, agressif et tout et tout parce qu'il s'est dit non, il a tout. Mais moi, je ne pense pas que ce soit une bonne idée pour la femme. La femme doit rester telle qu'elle est. La femme doit être soumise à son homme, quels que soient les moyens qu'elle peut avoir. L'homme reste l'homme. Comme nous. Nous, les, les, les femmes africaines, nos mamans nous apprennent que l'homme est le chef de famille. Donc, la femme, même si tu touches le milliard par mois, tu dois respecter ton homme. Tu dois le respecter, il est le chef de famille. Il est le chef de famille. L'argent ne doit pas te faire changer de comportement. L'argent ne doit pas te faire manquer du respect à ton mari, qui est le chef de famille. Moi, je pense que la femme doit rester telle qu'elle est. La femme doit être restée soumise à son mari. Je crois que ça même je suis contente du fait que des femmes commencent à comprendre ça parce que par oui. le passé, oui. le 8 mars, quand on disait qu'on allait célébrer le 8 mars, mm -hmm. ça devenait, ça allait dans tous les sens. Les femmes disaient l'homme prépare, moi je sors. Je sors. On comprenait mm -hmm. pas mm -hmm. véritablement mm -hmm. euh, cette, mm -hmm. euh, cette façon là. Alors réaction après euh, euh, ceci. I, I love what they said, I, I really do, because I think that some of them understand that we're not, c'est pas la concurrence. It can never be concurrence. Tu comprends un peu? It, it, it's a partnership. Et je crois que beaucoup de nous, les femmes, on doit rassurer, rassurer les hommes que mm -hmm. we're together, we're not trying to. Je peux ne pas te mentir, I don't think there's any woman qui n'aime pas être dolotée, chouchoutée. Hey. Même moi, je suis une femme très forte, mais je te jure, quand je suis avec un homme qui me dolote, me chouchou, petit, je suis... Oh! Le calais. Le calais. Ah, je suis tous les femmes veulent ça. We all want that. So the men should not think that because I'm a boss lady. I want to be that boss lady. I want to be this. But when I walk out, I want to be like, oh baby, you know. Tous les femmes veulent ça. We want that. So it's not like we're trying to take your place. Dieu. Vous comprenez un peu. Oui, And I need so many more of us, women, to reinforce this message. We need that positive feedback, that reinforcement, like, I could be all of this and, and all that. Mm -hmm. Je peux être tout ceci et tout cela, mais tu es mon homme. Mm -hmm. Voilà, c'est clair. Et je ne veux pas ça si tu n'es pas avec moi. Mais c'est comme ça. Voilà. Again, I'm sorry, but Mireille Grass is not in that account. Oh my goodness. <laughs> J'ai fait quoi pour mériter ça? Tu as fait ce que tu as fait. <laughs> <rire> non mais c'est vrai que c'est vrai que c'est pas véritablement le sujet, oui. mais c'est quand même un peu en corrélation parce que euh, comme Calvino posait cette crainte des hommes là mm -hmm. sur euh, ils ont peur de je sais pas pourquoi est-ce que 
l'homme africain a peur de pouvoir euh, permettre à la femme d'être autonome et ils se sentent comme une, so un so une sorte d'insécurité. Mm -hmm. Et même quand on voit, même bibliquement parlant, quand on parle de soumission, on parle de sous une mission. Quand on parle de submission, mm -hmm. in, Bible, in the Bible, in the Bible, they say submission means that you are Honda is a mission mm -hmm. of a man. Donc, mm -hmm. c'est l'homme qui a la mission. Mm -hmm. Mais peut-être beaucoup d'hommes n'ont pas de mission. Et uh -huh. c'est ça qui, fait, qui cause problème aujourd'hui. Okay, let's talk about uh -huh. that. Now, that's where, that's when my coaching skills ah, good. just come up. Like, il faut, il faut toujours demander quelle est la base de la situation. What is the main cause of the problem? Uh -huh. Tu comprends un peu? Oui. Et, and, and when we start having meaningful conversations around why you understand. Mm -hmm. C'est ce que j'avais dit avant. Mm -hmm. When we're growing up, the man, the man, the man, ton, tes frères, tous mes frères étaient paresseux, tout. We were washing their clothes, cooking their food, doing everything. Mm -hmm. They were just going out from morning to night. Mm -hmm. C'est tout ce qu'ils faisaient. Mm -hmm. Parce que they were the bosses. Fast forward to now. They were not prepared. They always knew. They saw their mom bowing to their dad, running around, and all of their sisters. Now nah, I don't marry you. You want to show me that you're key. Tu te prends pour qui? Je parle, tu parles. Je n'ai jamais vu ma mère répondre à mon papa. Dès que mon papa entrait, tout le monde, il y avait le, le désordre dans la maison pour arranger la nourriture et tout. Tu vois un peu? That, that lordship. So it's normal for the man to feel a certain kind of way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's normal because of that. You've told me for 40 years que j'étais roi, j'étais tout ceci, patiti, patata. Maintenant, je n'ai pas de travail, je souffre, je n'y ai rien, et c'est ma femme qui est là. It's normal for the male ego to be bruised. Mm. Voilà. Et, et pour ne pas te mentir, hein, 9 sur 10 fois, when a man is angry at you, it's not really you. Mm. He's feeling helpless. Mm. At that time, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. c'est c'est l'enfant dans lui qui parle, qui crie, qui, mm -hmm. qui gronde, qui fait tout. Il est frustré parce qu'il se voilà dit que, qui a il te dit que oh c'est parce que au moment là donc c'est ce que je veux faire avec le mentorship program, mm -hmm. c'est que je parle. Mm -hmm. Il faut les dire oh, from four to five. Parents. I want to teach them these things that I know that you need to be seeing it like you see your small baby tantrum crying. Mm -hmm. Même pour tant des enfants, tu vois ton tes fils et ta tes mm -hmm. filles. My nephew is like fou, mais mes deux petits they are like déjà femmes. I can leave home and my Eva and Michaela will run the whole house. Jaden, oh boy, he's a guy. Mm. Um, from small, you see that, right? Mm. So, quand on comprend ça, on doit commencer when we start the program. Mm. Et les mamans qui comprend ça, you have to start grooming your daughters to understand that. Mm. That's number one. Number two, quand tu es là, quand on prend le mentorship program, mm. what are we teaching? What are we going to teach the girls? I want every girl to understand what are their core values, what are their core beliefs. Who they really are. Pour ne pas te mentir, tu es marié? Divorcé. Je suis divorcé aussi. <laughs> tu es marié? No, I'm not married. Not yet. Yeah. Pourquoi le, le divorce? Si est, te marie, le what, divorce why is pas. divorce prevalent? And that you, you will get married, right? Let me tell you why. Toi et moi, nous ne sommes pas divorcés parce qu'on voulait se voilà. être divorcé. Tout vrai. le monde veut être en, dans une relation. Dans une I vie, love being sûr. in a relationship. Yeah. Tu comprends un peu? Mm -hmm. Mais comment est-ce que nous sommes mariés? Qu'est-ce que nos mamans nous ont dit pour nous préparer pour le mariage Non, la femme doit être... Tu faut supporter. Oui. Et, et quoi encore euh, Prépare pour ton prépare mari, pour ton mari avoir, des avoir des enfants. enfants garder la maison. Garder la maison, c'est qu ce qu'on nous, nous a dit. Qu'est-ce qu'ils nous ont dit des relations entre Jamais rien. l'homme rien. et rien. Exactement. Rien. Et pourquoi tu t'es marié Hey tu es là, tu n'es pas marié. Eh, 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 Karine vient de se marier. <rire> je suis déjà partie à quatre mariages. Mm -hmm. Quand est-ce que je vais devenir grand-mère Oh, tu, et, euh, tu as déjà 25 ans. Oh, tu as déjà 22. À 22, tu ne te comprends même pas. Mais tu as déjà 22. Tu as 25. Donc, n'importe qui qui vient là, qui veut t'épouser, qu'est-ce que tu fais Tu parles. Tu, tu, tu te maries. <rire> tu ne sais pas si vous avez même les mêmes valeurs, les mêmes growing up, the same. Work. Tu ne sais rien. Rien du tout. Donc tu prends deux étrangers qui ne savent rien. Personne. No, they have no common value. Non, tu n'as même pas regardé là où ils viennent. Tu n'as même pas regardé là où ils viennent. Comment est-ce que ça doit tu marcher? Tu découvres ça là et tu es tu dépassé. Un peu. Ça vous... Maintenant, on commence avec le mentorship. I'm so big on this. That from five to opposite, I will take them all the way. By the time you're ready to get married, you know who you are. Mm -hmm. You know what you want. Yeah. You know why you want it. Yeah. You have your values clearly defined. Yeah. My relationship values. Yeah. My career goals. Yeah. My, my spiritual goals. My personal development. 
develop. That's it. My finance go. So when the monsieur come, she comprends que ma maman, they, 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 they were they even talking about love. But you know something. They were they talking about love. Mm. Oh, love of what? For what? Love of comment. C'est maintenant qu'ils viennent les jeunes, ils parlent même de love, love, love. Et ils doivent parler. Ils doivent parler même de love, love. Mais on ne va pas parler. Rien. Non, 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 non. Mais vous voulez tell you about sex? Can we talk about sex? Non, non, oui. C'est là. Même le sexe, on parle de sexe. Quand j'étais petite, j'ai demandé à ma maman comment on avoir les enfants. Elle m'a dit que tu vois la ligne qui est là, ça où ça s'ouvre, la face sort. Et j'ai cru ça jusqu'à quand I started doing biology, they explain how they have childbirth. I was like, oh, where? J'étais à from three. Moi, j'avais 16 ans quand je demandais à ma mère que je, moi, je voulais faire même un enfant. Parce que j'aimais les enfants. Et tout ce qu'elle m'a dit, elle dit, tu es sorcière. Ah bon? Et là, alors, you see? Oui. Yes! Parce que nos mamans ne comprenaient pas. Il y avait, quand je grandis, ma maman était un peu... She was a little bit okay, but she was not okay. Il y avait des, des, les, 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 les soeurs, amies, dont ses, ses amis, et they could not even tell their daughters about menstruation. Non, 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 non. Ah non, avant trois d'entre eux, oh, non, c'est venu comme ça, ça nous a surpris. Il y avait les amis que c'est ma maman qui les a dit. Parce qu'elle dit, hey, et comment, what would I tell them? Donc ma maman, elle, she's telling them. Non, moi j'ai Basic things like that, where in America is education, we have this education, they talk about it, they talk about everything. J'ai une question, j'ai une question. We don't want to discuss. No, I know that. We don't want to anyway. Maybe it's because of the old person. But guess what you're doing now? Your children are looking at it online, and somebody else is telling them, exactly. and they're telling them the wrong things. You were not pussy. What you said. That's what we have to do. We have to start knowing each other, preparing each other. So if you married your friend, at the That's end of the day, we'll tell you marry your, your friend. Your friend. Somebody because after this, uh, and she, even when you get married to married to your friend, it's not a guarantee. It's not a guarantee that you'll be ah. together. But still, you fight. So you have. We have to talk about all of these things. How do you handle conflict? How do you handle the stages in a relationship? No, ah, no. Les femmes, les femmes sont déjà dans ça. Les femmes sont déjà sorties dans ça. Parce que cette génération. Oui, ce sont déjà dans ça. Voilà. Et on doit les encourager. Les encourager. Et on doit Mais leur dire c'est ok de parler. Voilà. L'expérience. Et vous ne devez pas être marié. Il dit cette génération comme tu n'es pas de cette génération là. Qu'est-ce que tu dis Non, non. C'est pour dire que vous êtes des femmes. Vous êtes des femmes sur le plateau. Non, mais je ne comprends pas ce qu'il dit. Voilà. C'est une histoire compliquée. C'est une histoire compliquée. Je lui demande que... Une petite anecdote. Une petite anecdote. Quelqu'un de ma génération, il me dit petite soeur. Je lui dis que tu es sûre que tu es mon grand frère pour m'appeler petite soeur. Alors que nous avons pratiquement, nous avons le même âge. Il y a des beaucoup de gens parce que j'ai mes cheveux comme ça. Des pingues à mi on a tiré de ma Cette génération, vas-y, tonton Calvino. Avant que le temps ne parte... Déjà, avant de poser ma question, nous sommes à la 40e édition de la fête de la journée de l'international. 49, 40, 40, 49 voilà. On va constater que depuis, que depuis les 40 ans que les femmes euh, ont fait cette journée, ont fait cette journée, ce n'est pas une fête, mais c'est une revendication, on, on, on remarque que la femme, elle continue à être le genre le plus pauvre. Mm -hmm. Voilà. Ma question c'est, qu'est-ce qu'on peut faire selon vous pour, pour, je ne sais pas, changer la place de la femme, bien modifier la place de la femme dans la société, améliorer. Continue having, see, continue having these conversations. Number one, on va encourager ces gens de discours dans les médias partout, dans les écoles, dans les écoles partout. Premièrement, deuxièmement, on doit avoir les lois qui encouragent, yeah, laws, policies in place, les les législatures, c'est comme ça qu'on dit, policies in place that empower women, that give us a platform and a vehicle to do things. Mm -hmm. We have to encourage more women, may help women be able to get access mm -hmm. to funding, capital, because we want to start businesses, right? Because that's the whole idea. Mm -hmm. Remember, we start with the woman, but give me the, the, the tools, the resources. Give me, let's, we have to have, as women, we have to have mentorship programs. Mm -hmm. If you're in a company, situated as in society, I challenge every Cameroonian woman who is in a leadership position, start a mentorship program. Mm -hmm. If you don't know how to start a mentorship program, call me. I can help you put a mentorship program in place. Coach the other women who are coming up. I feel like for any woman who leaves and it's a man that takes your place, you fail the women. Because it's your job to tell that woman, mentor that woman, coach that woman, mm -hmm. how to get there. And then the women that are mentees, they should also be ready. Nobody doesn't just give you something. Lotan la passé, hein? Maintenant, what do you know? What can you bring to the table? Show up. Here are the family that are my mentors. I yeah. look up to them. Avant de venir au Cameroon, I call them. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Aujourd'hui, I call them. This is what I'm doing. This is what I'm doing. What do you think? I, it, même, il y en a qui sont les petits soeurs. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Is it time? So let's have the conversation. I feel like with more women have access to funding. 
more okay. women are even in the supply chain mm -hmm. let's have, have policies that say we can get procurement from women owned businesses mm -hmm. in that supply chain mm -hmm. we need to incorporate more women in things that are like mythical like oil and gas industry we need more women to get in there it's not only about men to comprend un peu, transportation so we need to encourage those converse have those things cool. yeah and then let the woman know from young that you can be anything that you want you to want be. to be okay anything okay. i don't hear and you should not be imposed on uh, and you should not be imposed post. on Okay, now I the question yet. I want to ask her, what are the piv um, pivotal role an African woman is supposed to play in fostering community development and a collective effort needed to uh, ensure a thriving future for the next generation? Exactly what I just said. Okay. Th th that's what, the, because it starts with the women who have already done it. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm here because I have done it abroad on a massive scale. And I'm here to come contribute my two cents or my two <laughs> penny, whatever you may call that here. So it's, it's all the other women who are you. How did you become a journalist? There are many young girls that want to know what you did. Mm -hmm. We have platforms right now. We should use our platforms, our platforms. To, em to empower. I always say my platform is to equip, encourage, elevate, and empower lives. Everything I do, 90% of everything I do, I always ask myself, is it going to equip, encourage, elevate, and empower somebody? If it does not, I don't do it. I get my 10% for me to be all goofy and do my own mischief or whatever yeah. I need to mm -hmm. do because I'm a human being, right? But that's it so every woman mentorship programs because a woman understands a woman's plight more the man in your job doesn't understand the challenges that it took you to get to, to here mm -hmm. so you turn around and pass it to that next generation as we're talking about right That's it. Mm -hmm. our mothers did a great job all most of us african women are excellent housewives on doit on connaît gérer la maison même ouais. avec rien on gère c'est vrai c'est vrai our mothers are, we, i give them kudos for that that was what they knew Okay, our generation mm -hmm. will become entrepreneurs, will become career women, will become CEOs, presidents, oui. even. Let's turn around and pay back to the next generation mm -hmm. and tell them everything like our mothers told us about raised being housewives. But right? now the next generation are they really ready because now they're the ready. youth today were more they're interested ready. in seeing people who post, just like you said, they use your, your, your platform, your platform to, elevate, to elevate, educate. Mm -hmm. But now, Youth are not even interested in that. All they want to see is maybe you are showcasing your luxurious lifestyle you live and like they'll start dreaming big. I want to be like this person. But what's wrong with them seeing my lifestyle and wanting yeah, to be like, like me? I for me, it's not a problem. But I feel they get sometimes they get, um, um, should I use the word like miss, like they misunderstood certain things about life. Mm -hmm. For example, you see somebody that post um, uh, her luxurious life on social media. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's like a role model to you. You mm -hmm. want to be. But now the question is, you don't even want to find out how she made her money. Exactly. What are the procedures she did or what are the challenges? So face, reach out that. to her. But now we just want to. I don't want to reach out to that lady because maybe I don't have, I feel like I cannot. I'm no, not a person. Actually, on social media, you can reach out to anybody. anybody. Okay, the thing is, will they have time to check their inbox? They might not. But you just never know. I want the the easiest way, yes. You send people will send you an inbox message, they will comment on, on your post. And the ones that if somebody really wants to follow you mm -hmm. and be a mentee, yeah. they will. Okay. They really will. Because and when you're posting, if you're posting with empowering things, I'm showing you that you can be too. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you that you can be too and have everything that you want in life. Because I'm li if I'm here, like I, I always say I'm from the cornfields of Africa. I, didn't, I was not born with a silver spoon in my mouth. Mm -hmm. But if I could get to America and if I could be this woman that's talking to you right now, everybody can be. Mm. So the only way you can get access to me is on social media. You're reading my post. You're seeing the messages because your, your platform is—is is mm -hmm. your platform is what are you saying on that platform? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You, so I can post my picture of me drinking my champagne mm -hmm. without saying anything. Mm. Now there, there are people who they call themselves influencers. That's mm -hmm. what they do. Yeah, that's you're what just do. posting the picture and you're not saying anything. That's not using your platform to empower. It's mm -hmm. vague. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is, if I'm what drinking my champagne, passing? I'm mm -hmm. passing a message, message to tell you this champagne that I'm drinking. You too can drink the champagne if you, you work do hard. hard work. Yeah. Do you understand? Thank you. If you do this, if you do that, message how do you become a millionaire? This image. is what you do. Ch We're going to exactly. interpret the message it. must accompany the, the image. A message must yes. accompany your message. Your, your you want your so that's the main reason why that's it's me. always advisable to use, like, an example you just quoted. You cannot just post a picture. Yes. Without 
and just yes without a message like to show yes. a legend yes they yes. call it legend yes you just put it something there you, you write a yeah, write something. You, you write something so that people can look at it and understand mm -hmm. right that this is what it is okay. yeah but without which most most of the young generation of course they are different mm -hmm. yeah it's but, but we owe them we owe them a duty to speak as our mothers on our head on it yeah no mama pensait que notre génération était aussi pire ouais ouais they thought that we were lost compared to them ouais but they still spoke to us, right? Yeah, so we like still on speak. On espoir. Yeah, and surtout nous, nos enfants qui sont nés aux États-Unis. Hein. Ooh. C'est la magie. Ooh. But guess what? We still speak. Mm -hmm. One day, train up a child, and when he grows up, he will never depart from that path. Même si ils font comme si ils étaient. C'est vrai. When they grow up, it's there. Mm -hmm. it's ouais, j'ai tu expérimenté ça. Mm -hmm. Je dis que c'est vrai. Oui. It is very, it is very true. They, they won't forget. They will not depart when they get older. So you cannot say, oh, these children as well. Keep talking to them. Keep talking to them. Someday, when I was here, I had my grand frère. Hein? Okay. Yeah. My grand frère, they, I was troubled. My papa m'appelait Petit Diablo. But right now, they all love me. I was listening, oh but I was still God. trying to be a girl, a child. Or not, uh, 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 <laughs> I, feel, I wish we still have child. We've come to the end. Okay, of the oh thank God. you very much. Eh? This is the end. Oh, no. Thank you so the much. Last for word, me. just the last word before, we, before going. Thank you guys for having me. Mm -hmm. I think this was a really good conversation. I'll be I'll be back. Yeah. Every time I'm in Douala, I'll let you know. Yeah. Let you know so I can be back. She have a femmes comme toi, c'est que les hommes ont changé. C'est que les hommes changent. Ah, oui. Mais tu vois, il y aura. Je suis là maintenant. Et je suis prête à aller jusqu'à... Il y a une social media platform. Il y a une social media platform. Il y a une King Joya. Facebook. Facebook, c'est ça. Yes. So on Facebook, I'm very, very active on Facebook. And I'll think King Joya, follow me on Facebook. I'm also on LinkedIn. Say, name and on Instagram uh, I do a lot on those three but on Facebook that's my main main platform I'm going to be posting where I am what I do and if there's anything I can do to help you become all that you were dreaming of becoming I'm here to serve so good bon mois de février de, de mars women's history, women's 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 history month voilà l'histoire de la des femmes commence à s'écrire et puis on va continuer allez Dieu vous bénisse on se retrouve lundi quand il sera 10h avec des sujets aussi intéressants que ce que nous avons commencé aujourd'hui on, on se dit Et alors non, 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 ça va. à lundi America, ciao see you à lundi <rire> bye